Hey guys, what's up? My Shooters here, and I am back today with uh, another episode of my Kerbal Space Program playthrough, I guess you could say. So, uh, I ended up getting a few new mods, so uh, let's see how this goes. I haven't actually played with them yet, but all I know is I have a lot of shit that uh, I can kind of make things go boom with. So, let's get started. Uh, hmm. This looks cool. I don't actually know what it does, but uh, it looks like I'm going to go flying with it. Let's, let's try this out. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Even Jebediah is bored. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I, I doesn't seem to do anything. Hold on, let's let's go back to the space center. Let's have a wait. Wait. Ah, oh, it's a fuel engine. So you're actually gonna have to put like a fuel tank on it first before it will actually launch. All right. So, we want to separate the topmost layer, I think. So, we'll get the stack decoupler. I, I don't know what these things here are. It covers up unsight, unsightly ev engines. What? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's, let's just put engines on it. So, we want some fuel. No, we don't want that one. I think we'll go with this one. What's this? Small fuel tanks won't last long, but uh, it's very lightweight. So I think if we attach this onto the, uh, wait, is that going to work? I don't know yet. But I think if we attach this up to the uppermost layer, we will, wait, what happened? I can't actually see anything at the moment. Oh god, I killed it. There we go. It stopped responding for a second. Yeah, I think this is going to work pretty well, actually. It's it's nice and light. Um, Jebediah seems to be having a good time. Alright, so we know what we want now. We're going to keep that, uh, just to launch us that little bit further into space. But, uh, hopefully without killing everyone on board the spaceship. Um, alright. So let's move this little fella back up. I want that. I don't know what it is, I don't care what it is, but I want that on my, on my spaceship. In fact, I'm going to get the stack die coupler. As we learned in the last video, if you uh, don't use this and you put this down underneath, uh, your shit's kind of going to go boom. So we're going to grab that. And then I think... Uh, we we got to be careful with weight too. We can't put too much on, otherwise the spaceship won't actually launch. But... Yes, yeah, stuff. let's just try it. Whoa, whoa, that's a fucking... That's a monstrous fuel tank. Alright, we don't want that one. Let's just try it with the lightweight fuel tanks, just just for the time being. What's it say there? These small fuel tanks won't last long, but they're very lightweight, it's somewhat unstable, and stacking is not recommended. So we know what that means, right? It means now we have to stack them, just to see why then why they're not recommended. And let's add on some. Holy shit! Ah, uh, that's that's not working the way I was hoping it was going to work. Hold on. I wonder what's it? It's like a funnel. So if we, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's disappointing. I'm not going to be able to use it now. Or well, maybe if I put these three engines onto the bottom of it. No, that everything's too big now. <laughs> um, fuck it. Let's just go back to the basics. Let's go with the built-in game things because we know they work and we know they're going to fit. Uh, can we get that on? All right. Let's see if the spaceship's actually going to launch, just before we go any further. Wow, that's actually working pretty well, and it's going straight up. It doesn't even really seem to be moving. Can we make it go faster? Oh, yes we can. Yes we can. So far, uh, the stacking doesn't seem to have actually affected anything. Nothing's blown up yet, so... Wait, maybe... Maybe... Okay, now it moved on to the second fuel reserves and nothing's blown up, so... And now it looks like I'm stuck in orbit. Someone told me I had to be like 15,000 feet up in the air to go into orbit, but... I don't know, it says I'm still going up. Oh no, wait, it says I'm going down. Never mind, I fail. So let's end the flight, go back to the space center. And I think, I don't know, I kind of just want to add one, like... 
last big boom kind of kind of onto the end of it so I just want to I want to see an explosion or I just want to see it go extremely fast so what do we have here that's actually gonna work like yeah we can we can do that but how I need to like find a way just to put a flat platform underneath these or something I went to the really Yeah, see now that now that's just off balance. Um, because I really want to use this engine. Uh, if I just zoom out a little bit, lift that back up. You know what? Who cares if it's not balanced properly? When you have a fucking fuel tank that big, it's bound to do something awesome. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's it's not balanced at all. But my God, does it? It looks mean. Look how. Fucking awesome that looks. All right. Now I could add a parachute on top of it, but I don't think it's going to matter or make a difference either way because I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen here. But you know, let's. <laughs> oh god, this is ridiculous. All right, let's let's just see. It's it's moving. It's moving in the wind. Oh god, that's terrifying. Okay. Nothing happened. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Even Jebediah is shitting himself. What the fuck was that? Alright, so... I don't know what that just was. So let's crash back into the ground and... Look, everything over there is still blowing up. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's just completely not working. All right. Oh, maybe if we if we let ourselves crash, we should be able to see the crash report. So there was a structural failure on the linkage between that. Oh, that's that's no fun. So I'm thinking this this massive imbalance might be bad, but that's all right because we have more mods. So what, what, I don't even know what this is, I should probably read it before I put it on. Might not look like you stand in full tank, but it is packed to the brim with liquid deuterium. Yeah, alright, deuterium, that sounds nice. Scary, expands under pressure. Now what can we add to the bottle? Ooh. So it runs on standard liquid fuel. So that should mean if we chuck it underneath it... And I mean, it's called a nuclear thermal rocket engine, so you know it's, it's going to go off with a bang. I like this. I like this. I think I like it more than it was. It kind of has a nice spiral. It goes down, it's got pretty colors on it. And then it's just got scary ass, like, nuclear looking fucking warheads on the bottom of it. They even look like an A-bomb, but, you know, whatever. Let's, let's launch this and see how we go. Okay. Just be careful to watch the faces. It's not going to take off. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, holy shit, Jebediah's scared. I didn't even know you could scare this guy. No, fuck this. I am... No. Go back to the thing. I am... I'm not going to... I'm not going to end this video without this thing taking off. I don't care what I have to do. It is fucking... It is getting off the ground, at least. So... Where, where are the other engines? Where's the default engine? That's what I'm after at the moment. Can we just attach this to the sides or something? Usually you can attach these things to the sides. I don't know. Let's get rid of these guys here. Now if we go back... Where is it? Propulsion. No, we don't want that one. We don't want a teeny tiny rocket. No, we don't want that one either. That one's also really small. Fuck it, let's just add three more of these. Three more of these little guys. No, oh, that's right, I can't fucking add them. Man, I just feel so limited at the moment. I, I, want to, I just want to get this thing off the ground. Ah, oh, alright. These, these sound pretty good, actually. So what, they, they change? So we, we want... We want them all to be facing the right direction. Okay, like that. And the last one. 
I can just get it to fit in. There we go. So what's it say? You want speed? You want to escape the pull of the earth with a single engine? This baby is your best bet. And it's designed to run off this liquid deuterium, so these must be all off the same mod package. I'll put a link to the mod package below, by the way. But let's see if this one's actually going to take off this time. Holy shit, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. It looks like I'm going to make it into space. It, look, Jebediah, look at him. He's so happy. Look at these little teeth. <laughs> okay, I've, I've just got to try to keep the ship upright. Which is kind of hard. The, uh, the heavier the ship gets, the, the harder it is to actually kind of control it. Oh shit. So let, let's get rid of those. We don't we don't want them anymore. We 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 want to. Whoa! Why why is Jebediah freaking out? It's all right, man. I'll look after you. Oh, maybe. If if I can if I can get control of my ship, I'll I'll be able to get these guys into space. Let's see how this is going. Oh, oh, almost almost. So we'll increase the thrust on the engines. There we go. Look at that. I gotta say, these graph the graphics in this game, they look much nicer the further you are away from them. <laughs> so 10,000 feet, 11,000 feet. These guys are still shitting their pants. I, I just think they're miserable the whole time. They are not they are not good spacemen. You do not want them next to you. It's like that douchebag friend. You know, you, you take them to like an amusement park for their birthday or something, and they promise you all this fun, and then you get there, and they don't go on any rides, and then... You pretty much spend the whole day it's standing in line by yourself. Does, did that happen to anyone else, or is that just me? Holy shit, okay, so I lost control, but uh, 25,000 feet, uh, I think that's going to satisfy people. That's pretty well up into orbit. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. It helps me out heaps, helps spread the community. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will most likely be Nightmare House 2, which is like an add-on thing for Half-Life. I don't know, look cool, downloading it now. So I'll see you in the next video.